Hopefully the video just stopped, but picking back up, the last thing I want to show here is this trickle charger. This is something that you do to keep this battery in good health, because this battery is what we rely on to give us the electric start so we don't have to pull start it. And what we do with this thing is we run an extension cord out to it from the house uh, to power it. We can actually run it from around the, the sidewalk in the back house here. There's an outlet right outside the door on the outside of the house. Plug that into here, and then we plug this guy into this little input here. And we plug it in like that, and then this thing, it will light up. If it's been several months since the generator ran, this will light up red. And we plug it in, and it'll stay red until the battery is in a full state of charge and good health. And then it'll turn, like we have now, into a green color. So that's how we know when it's fully charged. And that's what we should do to this battery probably every three to six months, just to keep it in good standing. Because we wouldn't, we'd hate to have to call upon this battery and not be charged enough. We go to start it, and it can't start because... There's not enough power in the battery to start the starter. But that's it. And we always leave everything in the off gas position over here. This thing we just slide back and forth as it says LPG and gas, depending on which one we're using. I'm going to drain the gasoline out of this tank because it didn't all get used up, and I don't want that gas going bad in here. So I'm going to pull a hose off the tank. But typically, you want to run this tank empty of fuel. So even if the storm's gone and everything's good, you want to make sure, even if there's three gallons left in there, figure out a way to siphon it out, or I'm going to pull the hose on the bottom of the tank off the carburetor and drain it back into this container, and we're going to stick it into one of the cars. That's it.